What's going on guys, Legit MHX here, back with another Spider-Man PS4 video, and I know I've been gone for a while, like a bit over a week, but I have been busy with school exams, and and I've also been working on some secret secret stuff for the Spidey Squad, which you guys will find out um, eventually. We'll release more things as time uh, goes by. But basically, I am back, and I'm going to be making a complete breakdown, analyzing everything, in all the concept arts and all the details and everything pretty much I don't know how long this video is gonna be I'm not gonna put any restrictions on it I'm just gonna go all out and give you guys everything we know so with the title you guys probably can realize that there's quite a bit of info probably in this video uh, maybe some of you got already knew it because a lot of other Spidey Squad members did make videos on it already at links will be in the description or maybe you, you you've never heard of it before and I'll be telling you guys everything about it and more so even if you don't do know about it, stick stick around, why not? There might be some stuff you don't know. Who knows? But if you guys do enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, then do subscribe. I'll provide a, a, a unlimited source of Spider-Man content um, until it does release and beyond. But with that being out of the way, we've already gone one minute and a bit over. Let's just get into the video. So, basically, we've gotten four main concept arts, and Insomniac have revealed every single one of them officially, full screen, HD, quality, Perfect, everything amazing. Um, and one of the concept arts is actually a poster for Insomniac Spider Man, Marvel Spider Man PS4 game, um, which is what we're going to start with now. So you're looking at it right now, pretty much. Um, them, this being a poster, it's pretty much 100% confirmed to be in the game. I mean, why would they make this a poster and not this being in the game? I mean, it has like all the official stuff, you know, the rating thing, the Insomniac a logo, PS4 logo, Spite Marvel Spider-Man logo, and then copyright 2017 Marvel at the bottom. It's going to be in the game. It's going to be epic, this fight scene, whatever is going to happen. I do believe this happens directly. I actually don't know. It might happen directly after the helicopter scene, but after I think in the helicopter scene... Spider-Man turns evil, because he, uh, Mr. Negative uses the negative touch on him. But, who knows about that? We'll find out, find more about that later on. But, the main thing you guys can see from this actual video, I mean video, this image is battle suit, battle slash suit damage. You can actually see his suit being damaged. Um, that's one of the major things you see cuts all across his actual body. And you see, like, you know, some blood, sort of. Yeah, you can clearly see some blood there. Um easily you can see some blood but you can see those uh, cuts in his skin and of course obviously his suit so um, this basically does confirm that there will be battle slash suit damage within Spider-Man PS4 so if you guys don't know what that is basically when you're fighting someone and you're getting hurt um, accurate actually I'm gonna be talking about accurate battle suit damage cuz well, we'll get into that later on but basically when you're fighting someone but fighting a villain or something um, any you know character any any like enemy you're fighting an enemy you get hurt and basically the place that you get hurt leaves a mark so from this we can actually see where did these marks come from if we look at it it's actually from the edge of spider-man's body so it's on his left thigh on the left side on the outer region on the right on his um right thigh at the outer region as well and again so on, again on his actual arms um, that are also on the outer region or in the exterior of his actual body, which might, um, which actually shows that these cuts did actually come from him going through the glass. Of course, going through glass that's on a train would hurt. I don't think, I mean, unless it's like the safety fire exit one, which is easily able to break, that might still hurt. But anyways, I mean, this is gonna hurt. He, I mean, I think it's probably, um, Assumable that the glass did actually make those cuts on him, which is actually really accurate. So it wasn't like Mr. Negative punched him in the face and you got a cut on his left thigh. No, that looks very, very accurate. It looks like the exact places where the glass has opened and cracked, that has actually cut the exact places that correspond to that hole made in the glass. So that looks like it's going to be accurate battle damage. And for those that are saying, well, this is just a concept art. How do you know this is going to be in the game? Mate, just look at it. It's the poster. It's 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 like it's so decorated and everything. And why would the hell would they put these cuts and battle damage suit damage if they didn't have the intention of putting it actually in the game? So think about that. Um, in from my point of view, I think it's 99% confirmed that his suit and the game will have battle slash suit damage and accurate battle slash 
slash suit damage because we have seen uh, you know battle damage in the past and even in the Tasm games the Amazing Spider-Man 2 we did see it but it was never accurate and I do feel like this time Insomniac will be working on making it accurate so let's hope that does happen now let's just look around a bit more you can actually see most of the NPCs now in the actual photo which is much more enlarged um, let's start with the left guy because this is the most imp uh, interesting um, there's been some speculation that <laughs> the left guy is actually Daredevil no I don't think he is I, I, I mean I heard it I'm like uh, uh, yeah, no, I don't think so. That that, that I, I I just I don't need reasons to explain why he's not. It's just he does. It doesn't really look like him that much. There's no reason for him to be there. There's no reason for him to read it and read a newspaper when he's blind. There's no reason. Like it, 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 it just doesn't make sense. You know, um, it doesn't make sense to be honest. I just, I just, I just. It doesn't make sense to me. I, I, I don't, I don't. I mean, if it might to you, he might be end up being dead. But I really don't think he is. And um, in so uh, what was it? Um, somebody actually replied to. I think it was Evan that actually made it. Um, no, I'm not saying anything against Evan. I mean, Evan's great and all. But somebody replied saying, I don't think he, I don't think Daredevil can actually read a newspaper because he's blind. And then somebody actually favor, uh, like that tweet or retweet or something like that. Um, I think they retweet actually, but what's important is about this guy on the left who's not Daredevil is what he's actually holding. I mean, it's not that important, but it's pretty cool. It's Daily Bugle. The entire front cover, the back cover is Daily Bugle. It's, it's all Daily Bugle, right? Um, so basically, we can see Daily Bugle at the bottom, and it's basically saying, We always give you more. Um, you know, pretty much adver advertising for Daily Bugle, their actual newspaper company. Um, and then at the front cover, we do actually see Daily Bugle, Spider-Man. I said that weirdly, Spider-Man. But it says Spider-Man in the front cover. Now, whether it says, you know, something like, you know, Hero or Menace or something, something like that at, on the side, or it maybe just says Spider-Man, I, I think it says something before it, to be honest, because it feels like there's a gap there. Um, I, it could be something. And the photo just looks like his... You know, just like on a... I think it was from the gameplay demo, to be honest. So I can't really see that exactly. It looks like he's just, like, swinging. You can't really see anything. So it's probably... It could be something criticized. I mean, you might... This might, like, be the, you know, pass to JJ and Jameson. I mean, could we see... I doubt it, but could we see Peter Parker working for the Daily Bugle? It's possible. And I'll go into our theory later on when we go to one of the other concept arts and the possibility of something like that. But doesn't look like anyone's going against Spider-Man, but you do, do see, do see Spider-Man is all over Daily Bugle, and looks like J. Jonah Jameson's making some good money off Spider-Man. So, let's look at the other uh, NPCs. They look really, really detailed. Like, to be honest, they look really real. Like, if you were to make a concept art of, uh, of real life, <laughs> this, was, what it, this is probably what it would look like. Like, look how accurate it is. You know, some, like, the actual colouring, facial... I mean, I guess some of the facial reactions are very... Um, you know, mon monotonous, but I think they haven't had enough time to actually react to it. Like, some of them are, like, blocking, and, like, the other guys are, like, just turning around, because, you know, this Spider-Man going through an elevator after, I mean, not an elevator, the train, um, uh, what do you even call it, the glass, after getting hit by Mr. Negative, that's gonna happen really quick. It's not gonna be, like, this slow motion thing where they turn around and they react and they jump. It's going to happen instantaneously. It's going to happen less than half a second. So maybe it's because they haven't had time to react or something like that. Um, but, you know, some, taking a picture like this would be near impossible because of how fast something like this would happen. Um, but, yeah, so that's why I don't... I mean, I, I still... I don't think... Uh, like, they probably will... I mean, I, I'm pretty sure. The facial reactions would be will be crazy, crazy good. But, yeah... That's pretty much it. Um, so I think we can see some other things, you know, like nothing too important, you know, the top right. I think we can see where it's... Some, I think Evan said that we can actually see where the train's going, but I can't actually see where it's going. I just see money grows on our trees. Uh, what does that say? Open a new savings account today. Great, 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 great. Oh, you can actually see here, lower... Oh, something. I can't actually see it. It says lower... Lower something and DITM something. So if anyone knows what it says there, let me know. That could actually um, help with another theory. But on the top left we see NYC Pizza. And I'm going to go through this a bit later. But we've been actually seeing quite a bit of pizza lately. 
Um, I'll talk about that later in some of the theories. Maybe we can see some, you know, there's like a lot of pizza, like not just one company. There's quite a few pizza shops. Um, then we see Daily Bugle again. I think it's, we always give you more again underneath it. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I can't read what it says there. Yeah, I can't really read that. If you guys can, then it's something about pie. I can see pie there. And then someone's here. I don't know who that is. Is that Mary Jane? I don't know. And some clothes stuff. Nothing too important, but that's pretty much it for this one. Battle suit damage, 100% confirmed. 110%, okay, 99% confirmed. I'm 100, okay, no, I'm 100% that sure they'll be in it. But in terms of realistic reality, um, it is 99% confirmed. But let's actually move to the next one. This has been 10 minutes, who cares? No time limit. Spider-Man for life. Okay, so the next one is the Kingpin one. Um, now, I'm not going to be talking about much about this actual one, but I'm going to be talking about some theories and stuff related to this. So basically, let's go in it. Basically, we're in an art gallery, and Spider-Man is fighting Kingpin. And you can see at the bottom, it says Insomnia Games Kingpin fight V002. Does that mean version 2, or does that mean the second, you know, concept art? Who knows? Um... As in second con concept art, as in there's a concept art of Spider-Man fighting Kingpin earlier. So, what two things we can, or well not two, I don't know, but some things that we can deduce. Deduce, that's a cool word I used, I've never used that before. But what we can actually understand from this is that it's happening in an arc gallery, and what we do know is that it's at night time. And Kingpin is also one of the first villains you fight. So does that mean that you start Spider-Man PS4 at night time going after Kingpin? That would be incredible for it to start in night time. Like, that, oh. I know games have, like, some games have always started, like, it's like daytime, you know, generic, but night time, like, that would be so epic. Like, night time is actually something. I, I'm saying night time is not too much, but I love night time, especially playing a Spider Man. It'd be, it'd be amazing. Um, but what you can also see is that you can see some helicopters. So, this is probably the police. I mean, who else would it be? I don't think it's, I really think it's police. It looks like it's police. I don't think it'd be press. Or like any people like that. I'm pretty sure it's police. They're probably like seeing Spider-Man going after Kingpin, making like this huge ruckus in the town, on the city, and they've come to help. Probably, hopefully. Um, it doesn't seem like. I mean, Spider-Man has been around for what? Um, eight years. Yes, eight years. I can't believe I forgot that. Um, eight years. So the community has probably accepted him as a hero, not a. Um, not a villain or anything, so J. Jonah Jameson's probably actually not going after him, probably like just pra praising him for money, but um, anyways, yeah, the police are after him, and it, I don't know what's going to happen after this, looks like this is probably one of the final parts, you probably have your final battle with him, and then you take him in, but this isn't the main thing, basically, oh, oh actually, what we do also see at the back is, again, you know, broken glass and stuff, so it does seem like this is somewhere Spider-Man will come into during the fight with Kingpin, so it's not going to be like because look like things are breaking. It looks like Spider-Man just came in and like there's glass broken and everything. So it might be like multi-leveled fight against Kingpin which would be epic. But what we can and what also does um uh, what are, I don't know. It might actually be glass. I don't know. But what are, what also supports this theory is that on the top on the left, I think those are webs that you can see. Spider-Man's webs. It looks like webs. It looks like we might have fought him in the on it'd be like outside the building. And then he came in or something, and you smashed through or something like that. But, like, I think that's webs. That might just be glass, broken glass. It might actually be broken glass. I don't know. It looks like webs. Who knows? Um, but, yeah, this is there isn't too much to it. But, basically, uh, the theory I've pretty much explained is, like, you start off at night time, go off to Kingpin, you take him down, and it causes this tra chain reaction. Because Insomniac have said that Mr. Negative, after Kingpin's taken down, they rise. And when Mr. Negative rise, you know, Martin Lee, that entire duality between Martin Lee and... Mr. Negative, Spider-Man, Peter Parker, Aunt May, that whole wheel of connections becomes alive. So then the story probably sparks from there. And I'm pretty sure it gets much, much bigger from there because Insomniac have, against conf have again confirmed that there's going to be much more villains than just Mr. Negative and Kingpin. Kingpin. I don't even think Mr. Negative is that big of a villain. He'll probably be defeated not even before the half half of the game. I really think there's a big master plan. I don't know the master plan. You guys, you guys get that. Um, but <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like there might be some real big, big boss. I don't know who. I, don't, I really can't say. I mean tombstone i don't know um but we'll have to see 
how that happens. But this is definitely one of the first missions in the game. I can't, I, I'm going to be so happy if it's like the first mission in the nighttime or one of the first. It's like, that's crazy. And it's against Kingpin. So it's going to be an epic end opening to the actual game. But that's pretty much it. This one's actually not that much of um, uh, an actual... It can't really give us that much stuff. But let's get to the next concept art, which is the big one. Ha. Okay, so there's so much here to look at. First of all, Peter has not cleaned up his room, clearly. It's really, really messy. Um, so that's good for us, not for him, because we can look at a lot of things that's going on in his life, whereas he has to look, at, look back at a lot of things that has happened, I guess, and not all of them is positive. So, let's start with the left and go to the right, sort of swing around, sort of somewhat. Um, basically, bottom left, rent something, past due date. Looks like he's not paying his rent. W what a shame, Peter. I don't know. I'm sorry, Peter. Looks like your keys are there as well. What does it say there? MR7? I don't know what MR7 means. MR? Is that MR? HR7? I don't know. That could be something... Um, I don't know, some code, something you guys can figure out, maybe. He's got coffee there, I don't think that's that big of a deal. Got some, um, you know, clothes and, like, hanger or something. And you got, like, all this tech around. But the main thing, boom, the door. You've got so many pictures right there. And let's see if we can look at one of them. What the hell, why is it pixelated so much? Because Insomniac did that on purpose. Now, what we do see, what the main picture that we can see... Bam, Mary Jane Watson. I bet you that's Mary Jane. Who else has pixels that red? I mean, come on. I, I really can't see it that being anyone but Mary Jane. And who's on the right of her, or on the left of her, on the right for us? It's either Peter Parker or Harry Osborn. I pr probably be Peter Parker, but I mean, it's probably like an early, early, really early photo. We can't really actually read any of the sticky notes on the door, and a lot of the other photos you can't really see. It looks like. I mean, it's probably like, this. is this Peter? I don't know, it could be. But we can barely see these photos. We really don't know. Maybe some of them are of Aunt May. Maybe some of the selfies of Peter. But, you know, the top left one looks like it could be a selfie of Peter or someone. Um, you know, just look like this one might be some guys wearing suits. Probably like Peter's, well, Peter's like, I don't know what you guys call in America, like formal or something. Um, you know, uh, that might be like prison. Prisoners look like the, I don't know, but anyways, we can't really see what's going on in the door. Besides, Mary J Mary Jane might be the love interest for Peter Parker. Oh my God, how could I miss that? I didn't miss that. But um, yeah, so Mary Jane might actually be the love interest. So that that does, I mean, somewhat confirm some things, sort of. Um, does Mary Jane know that Peter Parker is Spider Man? Possibly. Is Mary Jane still with Peter Parker? P probably. Um. Also, has Mary, I don't know, but like, how does Mary Jane take part in the story? Because Ryan Panagos did say that something about like, oh, he already has Aunt May, he already has Bleep, who else are we going to see? Bleep might mean Mary Jane, which was not said yet. So I really do think that was he was probably referring to Mary Jane, because I really thought he was referring to his love interest, and now that we see Mary Jane pretty much, and another thing that definitely confirms Mary Jane, um, that bleep was probably Mary Jane. So let's keep moving on. You know, his desk is a cluttered mess. Actually, let's go to the bottom. You got some science books there. You got some tech. You got like all these power cables all across everywhere. And you know why? Because he's Spider Man. He's making gadgets. He's building stuff. Maybe we even get to go into his room and build our own stuff for Spider Man. I mean, not like our own, but like along with the story, we're building our own speech marks. Um. Uh, quotation marks, whatever. Uh, but you see some rubbish on the ground, you know, there's cables, like all this stuff, like coffee, and like he's like going crazy at work, you know, got notebooks and all this stuff. You can't really see a lot of things. But on his desk, you can actually see a Spider Man mask. What the hell? <laughs> he's probably designing, um, you know, he's working on his suit, and which does bring it up customization. Is that confirmed? Probably. Um, to what degree? We don't know. Insomniac have said alternate suits are confirmed. Bam. Um, customization, they haven't said anything on it. Um, but it's still possible, maybe we can, like, you know, upgrade system, whatever. It, his mask wouldn't be on the table for no reason. I mean, he's working on it, clearly, right? Right, right? Should be, because he's got all this tech and, like, tools around, you know, he's got, like, pliers and he's got this vice. So, got a vice on the left, got a vice on the right. Like, he's got a, bu a clamp? Is it called clamp? I don't know. Something like that on the right. He's got, like, a lot of tools and stuff, because he's working on things. What is he working on besides Spider Man gadgets and stuff? You know. I mean, if you guys can actually think of something, comment it down below, but I bet you he's... I mean, he's got some noodles there, I think. Right? I don't know, but he's working on Spider-Man stuff. 
he's got his mask there. I think he's got his web shooter somewhere as well. I can't really see. But um, again, you see like all these tools and like bottles and stuff. Nothing with like literally all this is like mechanical engineer stuff. Things that like cool science techie guys make. Uh, you got some boxes on the top and some stuff there. You'll see another photo. Might be Mary Jane Peter. I don't know. The hair looks brown. So I don't know. Might not even be people. Who knows. Um, but you've got... That looks like Peter actually. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. You move on to the right and you see this billboard. Billboard? I don't think it's a billboard. It's a board. Um, which has a bunch of stuff. And to me what it looks like is that it's a bunch of criminals faces and people that he's going after. Um, that white guy, the, the guy with the white, like, jacket thing reminds me of, um, Justin Hammer from Iron Man Armored Adventures. <laughs> I don't know if that's me, but, um, yeah, so this billboard sort of thing that's directly above Peter's bed probably is him sort of being a detective and working out, like, villains and stuff and, like, the bad guys and stuff, which is pretty cool, because if we get to do something like that, sort of, like, st you know, missions where we've, like, in, it's a, in, um, Infamous Second Son, where you went to a, um, crime scene and you picked up evidence and stuff but like Spider-Man does and he f picks it up pieces it all together then goes after the villain stuff something like that that'd be cool because we do know that it's going to be a bunch of villains they're going to have their own territories because that's what Negative was doing to Kingpin he was Kingpin he was taking over Kingpin's territory and there's going to be a bunch of villains that own their own that own their own territory and it's going to be this whole city with you know, villainous territories that Peter's going to try solve and stuff it's going to be an epic story I feel like um but yeah it looks like he's trying to figure that right there, and it might be even something in-game, which would be awesome. Now, we move around, and we see his bed. You know, obviously hasn't done his bed. If he, I mean, if he's not going to do anything else with his room, he's not going to do his bed. So, you know, he's, I think, oh, you can see his phone right there. Oh, I didn't even notice that before. And it's on as well. I think it's his phone. It looks like his phone. Where's Peter at then? <laughs> Is Peter dead? I don't know. But it looks like everything here, I mean like his laptop's on and everything, that laptop is thin. It's like one pixel wide. Um, But yeah, you've got like a bunch of his stuff and you've got pizza on the ground. And you've got more noodles. I think that's noodles. It's something. you got more pizza on the ground. Is that, yeah, what the hell is that? I don't know. There's more pizza on the ground, right? And then you've got like this cool like designs and he's making things. Like this one looks like he's making a Spider-Man like He's making his own concept art. <laughs> he's uh, drawing. It looks like he's drawing his suit up and trying to make designs. And over here, you can actually see like different spiders. It looks like he's making different designs for spiders. And there's also some black in there. So is he making a? Do we get a new Spider-Man with a black spider on it? Like a spider white? It looks like white spider with some black on it. Like does the white spider on his chest develop over time? Is the one that we saw at E3 demo actually still in E3 2016 demo actually in the game, but it's developed to become the E3 2017 demo? Does it change over time? We'll have to see, but this book does have spiders in it. I can see at least two spiders there. Um, not clearly, but I can see, you know, f f pixels there. And you guys probably can. It looks like Spider-Man, another um, concept art or his drawing on the right page or the left page, depending on which way the book is. I was looking at the other way. It doesn't matter. Um, but then you have more stuff. It looks like he's still looking at... It looks like a homemade suit. I don't know. Um, at the bo at the bottom, it looks like he has something red there. It might be. I don't know what else it could be. I don't know what it could be, actually. But something red there. You know, some a bunch of mess. Clothes all over the place. Shoes all over the place. And when we come down here and we'll go to the... What the hell? Tony's Pizza? Looks like we've got some pizza. <laughs> More pizza. <laughs> come on, Peter. You gotta you gotta deal with the pizza, you know. Tony's pizza, I'm gonna come back to this. Why is there so much pizza, you know? Um you got a stove, you got this is it a kettle? I think it's a kettle, right? He's got this kettle on the stove, probably hasn't taken it out from like years and you guys all this junk in the sink. Good luck using the tap, mate. Um there you go up and there's a pizza box. What the hell? Why is there so much pizza, Peter? And on top of it, I think that's a sandwich box or something else. I don't know. Um, it's a bowl. Um, it's a finished bowl. Then you go to the microwave. Microwave or a phone? Probably a microwave. Um, you know, more noodles and some other random stuff. And then you got some uh, sticky notes that you can actually read. So let's actually read this. The major one. Call MJ. Don't forget. Love you. That's MJ confirmed. And I mean, you have MJ and a love heart, so they're together, clearly. So we have MJ confirmed, that directly confirms it left, and we're like, hmm, could it be MJ? Who knows, who knows, who knows? Bam. Um, 
so it's MJ. And then on the right, we can see Peter get a job. Now, what I believed was that Peter got out of college and now he's a scientist working at somewhere. Don't know where, but maybe he hasn't gotten a job yet. Maybe he's out of college, but he doesn't have a job. But I do believe he's a scientist, but is he working as a scientist? Who knows? Um, so he's probably looking for a job. Well, this is probably pretty old or something like that. Um, who knows? Looks like the room is pretty old. Um, but yeah, it says Peter get a job, and maybe he does get a temporary job while he looks for a job to be a scientist. But I don't know if he's actually employed. Do correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. I, I remember Insomniac said that um, he's out of college and he's a scientist. But is he working? Like, does he have a job as a scientist, or is he just a qualified scientist? But it does say Peter get a job. Um, you know, and then it says like something about. I think it says something about laundry. Uh, something stinks laundry peter something like that um then it says pick up aunt may 10 p.m so aunt may's in it clearly there's a voice crack something there clearly aunt may is in it then you've got rent past due again peter looks like he's having some money problems so he needs a job um does that mean he's a scientist i don't know i don't think he's actually employed as of yet and if you look above i can't really um oh I think I actually just got that. <laughs> it says Tony's pizza job interview, I think. Does the bottom say interview? It looks like it says interview. So, <laughs> I think that says pizza as well. That clearly says pizza. There's two Z's then and eight. Uh, yeah, that's pizza. Looks like, ah, oh, Tony's pizza job interview. I'm pretty sure that says interview. Huh. Okay then. Uh, I don't know if anyone else has actually seen that. Probably have, but. Looks like, um, he's got a job interview at Tony's Pizza, <laughs> um, which is the pizza box down here, um, so that's pretty cool. So he's got a job at a, so there might be pizza delivery missions actually, you know? Or it might be just them giving, you know, um, credit or something like, what's the word? I don't know, something like, you know, giving praise to the old games and stuff and pizza. Who doesn't like pizza time? Um, but yeah. I just noticed that. I, I knew it said Tony's Pizza job. I didn't say. I didn't realize it said interview at the bottom. I'm pretty sure it does say interview there because it says inter. I'm pretty sure it says, it says inter. It says I N T E for sure, and it looks like an R. Then it looks like you. So interview. <laughs> Damn, like I didn't notice that. Um, then at the bottom you got to the periodic table. Um, at the back you got like a globe and like his hat. You know, just, I don't even know what the hell that is. Radio. Um, is that his web shooters? I don't know, that looks really big. Um, you got some junk at the bottom, you know, some random things, some boxes, looks like he's packing, is he moving out? Who knows, he's got some books all over the place, it's a light bulb, got some uh, pliers, you got, you got uh, you know, um, headset, you got the um, uh, heater, I say a conditioner, I don't know, I don't have one of those at home. Um, books on top of it, you got some DNA molecule things, and they come around, you got some random things, and what the hell is that? Is that the time or is that the date of the release date for Spider-Man PS4? Who knows? But this main thing, a lot of people have been speculating, it says 033018. Why did Insomniac choose to put that on it? Who knows? It could be something big. It could be the release date for Spider-Man PS4. Who knows? I don't think I'm gonna go 50-50 I really don't think Insomniac would actually just give out a release date like that and if they did know the release date I feel like they would actually announce it so um it could be that that could be the release date who knows that could be close to the release date um you know unsure but this concept I mean concepts are arts were probably made concept arts were probably made a while ago so I don't know to be honest but it does say that so who knows 50-50 could release then but that's something cool to actually see so that's pretty much it for this concept art. I know this video is actually getting long, but who cares? Spider-Man for life, man. And we come to we come to the final concept art, which really doesn't say much. Basically, what we do see is Mr. Negative, um, sort of blowing up. I guess he bombs the um, uh, NYSE, which I believe it is, which is the New York Stock Exchange place. I believe. Um, yeah, I think so. I think Adam the game actually made a video on about about it. If he did, I'll link it in the description below. But it looks like he blew it up, and the explosion looks pretty big. Because if you see, the pillars, their actual pieces have flown over and actually land on the road and like crushed cars, completely crushed cars. Those things must be heavy. So it was pretty big explosion. It looks like Mr. Nick is going off. Who knows if I mean who knows what part of the game this is taking place? If there's just something random 
to show Mr. Negative's crimes, or if it takes place after the train pl plays, or if Spider-Man's actually doing this with Mr. Negative, who knows, the possibilities are endless. Is this before the train fight, or is this leading up to the train fight? I, that's the same thing, I just reworded that. Or is this going, is this happened directly after? Probably not. Um, it's probably before the train fight, something like this happens, and Peter just swings along and kicks Mr. Negative, that'd be an epic swing. Swings right across that right building and just smacks him in the face with his feet. Great. So, I mean, there's not much to say. You can see citizens, civilians running away. And, you know, they look scared. So they look like they have their reaction stuff already. And it looks like more explosion stuff are happening and people getting shot and all this, this thing going down with the police and everything. Um, is that Captain Stacy? Probably not. Um, but... Oh yeah, it says at the bottom right, APC crash into NYCE, NYSE. Um, what's an APC? Is that a bomb? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys, hold on, guys. I'm gonna find out what an NY APC. Define APC. What is APC? Atrial premature. Com what the hell? <laughs> okay, it's probably like a bomb, right? Oh, it's like a, it's like a, no, it's like a tank. Yeah, it's a tank. So a tank crushed into the NYSE? Uh, there you go, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's a tank. It's a tank for war. It's not a... Yeah. I don't know, guys. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not really much left to say. But I hope you guys did enjoy this. Oh, wait, no. There's actually more to say. <laughs> um, there's actually not that much. But it's basically Mr. Negative. There's an image of Mr. Negative that was released. I'll try to find it and put it up. Um, and basically, a guy... I don't know who, who it was. I'll try to put the credit on the screen of who actually got the photo. But the guy basically switched it around, put it in vote mode, and it went from negative to positive. So we actually see Martin Lee and what he looks like. And he looks pretty damn cool. And I feel like Insomniac did that on purpose. They got Martin Lee's picture and they put it on negative. So then that us, we could like sort of figure it out, put on positive, something like that, you know? So we technically got two pictures of Mr. Negative slash Martin Lee, which is pretty cool. But that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It's a super long one, but who cares? We need Spider-Man content. You guys love Spider-Man and whoever loves it will watch the entire thing. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video once again. We learned so much things. We know MJ is confirmed. We know Kingpin is amazing. We know Knight gameplay is confirmed and that we're going to be probably doing one of the first few missions in, at night. We know that there's like um, an APC that crashed into the NYSE. Um, and we know that, you know, Peter might be getting a job at uh, Tony's Pizza. And we might be doing some pizza missions or the Daily Bugle or something like that. It looks like an epic story that's going to unfold, you know, some other crazy stuff. It looks like the villains and stuff are going to be amazing. I really want to see Tombstone and I might do a villains video eventually. Um, and what else do we know? Oh, battle suit damage, all that stuff. Daredevil confirmed. Totally. But, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Again, leave a like if you guys did. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy the new banners and stuff that I have uploaded, the new logo. It's not really new, the logo. It's just a bit improved, upgrade. You probably didn't even notice anything, but the banner has changed completely. So if you guys did, do enjoy that, and the outro that's gonna be play that's gonna be playing is completely new as well. I mean the music's the same, the uh, visuals is just a little different. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video again for the fourth time. And this was once again legit MHX signing out.